Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. We are officially unboxing our very first home decor box of 2024. I have both free spirit bundles, the petite and the elite. So we've been showing the elite on here, which is the regular subscription box for a couple of years now. This is gonna be my first time showing the petite and showing them together so you guys can really see the difference in the two boxes. I am extremely excited to kick off 2024 home decor with these items. So our last video we popped out was very Valentine's focus, which is how my house will stay till Valentine's. And then we have my youngest birthday and she typically likes the Valentine's stuff to stay up through then. And then we will be going full on spring. Question for you, has anybody noticed that Easter is so early this year. If I remember correctly, it's in March. So I haven't fully worked out what the decorating schedule is gonna look like because we also celebrate Fiesta in the season. I think this year Fiesta is actually gonna fall after Easter, which makes things easier. And then we totally go cr crazy for rodeo in February. So literally Texans were like this at the beginning of the year. Because we go from January where we clean up, straight into Valentine's February, straight into Rodeo. Then this year, I'm looking at my calendar, we'll go straight into St. Patrick's Day. And then two weeks later is Easter. And then we do Fiesta. So we party pretty hard until... The end of April, then I feel like we kind of take a breath for just a smidge, and then we roll into all of our more patriotic holidays in the summer. I love it. Where you live, do you have any nuanced things that y'all celebrate? Like we do rodeo every year. Rodeo travels the entire state of Texas, all the major cities. All the small towns get involved. It's huge. Um, so we have rodeo and we have Fiesta. Do you have any holidays in your city or state that y'all celebrate on the regular? Kind of like those. Okay, so free spirit bundle, full spoilers on the February 2024 bundles. The petite is $139.99. The elite is $269.99. Uh, elite, whoop, petite has four unique high quality items. Elite has five to seven items, and you have, will have this bundle by February 1st. So this is a bundle that is ready to decorate, decorate starting in February. Let's bust into the petite, because I'm very excited to see it. Then we'll move over here to the Elite. Something cool that Victoria, who is the owner of Free Spirit Bundle, who is also a professional interior designer, who curates this box, um, and she still actively is decorating homes. This is like all that she does all day is decoration with more decoration and a little bit more decoration because she has a YouTube channel where she's also decorating. She said that if you use the coupon code, new subscribers only, love pink envelope, you're going to get a pink envelope exclusive free gift in your first box. So I am very excited that she's doing that. It's super fun to have like an exclusive pink envelope gift. I think this is the first box that has ever done it and it kind of gives me goosebumps. It's really exciting. With each bundle, you get a QR code you can scan in to learn more. You get access to the private Facebook group, which has a ton of decorating tips and tricks and coffee times and coffee chats. The community is amazing with this box. The decorating how-tos is amazing. So if you're someone who's like, I have to get a box that also shows me how to use the items. This is your box. And she's got two price points now, which I think is great. Um, she's very, very hands-on with showing you how to use these items now, use them in the future, mix and match them with other boxes. Um, she's just, it is putting every, all of her God-given talents of interior design, she's just sharing them with you for free. Oh, and, and, I think this is the new gift. You get free interior design services. So you could literally contact her and be like, I need a new headboard for my guest bedroom. I want this style, I think I like these colors, what would you, what would you recommend? And she will source it for you. The interior design is included complimentary with your subscription. 
Okay, this says new subscriber gift. And then on here is the art card. She does have a real artist design this. And then on the back of your art card is all of the information that you need to know. When, here, probably should cover this just in case. The QR code to scan so that you can get the February bundle details. When all the different events are taking place. And this is all a part of your box. Um, let's see what's in here. I feel like I see some gold or brass. Brass is so trendy, y'all. I feel like it's never gonna go away. Although I am hearing chrome silver tones maybe coming in. That's not quite my style. I love me some golden brass. Oh my gosh, so cute. So it is a brass dish once again. So you do have to be a little bit careful with water in this. I was gonna say this is perfect to put by the sink and when you're cooking and washing, you can toss your jewelry in and go on. I wouldn't want this to get wet a lot. So depending on how your sink is set up, you might just wanna put this in your jewelry box or on your bedside table. Um, but I absolutely, look at my nails, love this little guy because that's so appropriately pink envelope. So yes, a artist by the name of Monica Foy is the one who created the art piece there. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this because I feel like it's like scream. Oh no, I can't get it out. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're gonna go here. Can y'all see that little like brown right there? I was gonna try to pull it out, but it felt like everything was gonna come tumbling out. Let's see what we got in here. And then y'all, I'm gonna try to. I wanna run out to the Pink Envelope Playhouse and grab some past items to kinda, you know how I like to do the mix and match and show how the box is building? It is raining and like 30 degrees outside. So I may chicken out. <laughs> I may not have the wherewithal as a Texas woman to run through that freezing cold rain and grab stuff, but we'll see. Maybe God will hook up some sunshine. Did I open it upside down? Of course I, oh my gosh. This puppy is so heavy. Oh, oh my gosh. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at the outside of this candle. This is definitely gonna be one of those that once you're done burning the candle, you're gonna wanna clean it out and keep the jar because this is gorgeous. An Awaken candle, apple, jasmine, sage, and sandalwood. It smells like spring without being florally, which speaks to my heart so, so much. Do not like floral scents. And this has the jasmine in it, but once you push the apple, the sage, and the sandalwood up against it, it creates a perfectly more earthy side scent. I love this. It is a single wick, you can see there. Love, 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 and it looks so cute with that art card and the dish right there. We are off to an excellent start. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but I get like itchy antsy for non-Christmas stuff, even non-winter stuff, honestly, at about this time. I'm ready for spring and Valentine's in color. Like I want so much color. And I mean, Christmas has color, but I want those, you know, my signature pinks in play. Appetizer set. Let me oh, show you the front of the bag, but let me kind of get it open some. We got three utensils on there. They're, they're very weighty. Like you can feel that they're solid. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous, y'all. Look at the heart on top. And it has a very like patinaed look to it. This is everything. So I have literally been saving up for a few years now to redo my kitchen. And I am working on it now. I don't wanna do DIY. I know we do so many things DIY and I really have enjoyed it. But we did a complete master bath gut job in 2023, and I think it might have broke me. <laughs> Maybe not broke me. It gave me a better appreciation for the art and craft of construction. Yes, these are so fabulous. This has the heart also. 
I love these. Anywho, uh, so I'm looking to partner with, hire someone to do the kitchen. And so um, this can be so nice because a lot of these things I put away in a box in storage that I love because my kitchen's about the size of this desk and there's nowhere to put it. But once my kitchen remodel is done, I'll be able to pull all of these things out and truly use them and appreciate them. And I just can't wait. Here is the spoon. This is an appetizer serving set. I love the hearts with that touch of, you know, spring Valentine's. We do hearts year round here at the Pink Envelope. So such a great touch. Love the color, love the non-traditional approach. Once again, all of these things together look so gorgeous together. And one of the things that Free Spirit does boast is a more eclectic design. Victoria is a design professional who carefully curates every item and lives with them in her own home to ensure the quality and functionality before we get them. Um, and she's just eclectic. I think that's the word I would use when it comes to her design. She's thinking outside the box and curating pieces to go together that bring a pop of design, coordinating, not matching to your home. I think I can shimmy this guy out now. So one of the things she does on major pieces, um, she does it a lot in the elite box. Um, in the petite box, things are not wrapped, like hand wrapped in gift. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. They're, they're wrapped to protect. They're not gift wrapped like a present. Um, but you get these cards on all of the items in the elite box that break things down. Here is one on the petite box. The cards are nice because you obviously get the QR code that breaks things down. You get the design that shows you how to decorate. But this says, I am a one of a kind and made of acacia wood. I can be hand washed and I am food friendly. I can hold so many things in your home. Let me hold your makeup at your bathroom sink, your keys and mail at the front door, or use me to organize your desk supplies. So there's this guy here. He's, I mean, look, here's the candle on him. He's fairly large. He is curved. Obviously the candle sits just fine, but anything too much wider wouldn't last. And yeah, here you go. He's solid, solid acacia wood. And then one more item here. This guy is heavy as well. And this will be the complete petite bundle. Oh. I have no idea. Let me shimmy. Hold on. Let me shimmy. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Is it two different pieces? Like one's inside of another? Yeah, I think so. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I always get so nervous. I'm going to break something and I would be so, so sad. I never have, but you know, the what if here are these two guys, these, I mean, I think this looks like desk storage. I'm much more inclined to use this tray with these servers in the kitchen that from my mind goes together. This for me would be so cute here in my office. Now the QR code, normally I would scan it and show it to you guys, but it's not active yet. She sent this to me early and she's still working on that side of things. But I would love to know what her ideas for these are. Cause look at this one. It is textured. It is fabulous. Um, it's got feet on it, but it doesn't have a drainage hole. It says not for food use, food consumed from vessel may be harmful. Oh, well, if you do, just get some um, wax paper or butcher paper, set it in and put the food on top, like little bread stick sticking out would be cute. But once again, you don't even have to go food. I didn't even go food here. I went straight to design on a shelf or functional use in an office. And then this guy looks like this. Very, very, very cute. So, here is what the petite bundle looks like. 
if you are a new subscriber and use my coupon code, you will get the pink envelope gift and then the art card that you can frame, which also talks about the styling sessions in the community you get as a part of being in the Free Spirit Bundle family. This is the Elite Bundle. It is $269.99 free US shipping. Use that same coupon code on this guy as well. And we'll see. So what I don't know is, are some of those items in this box or are they completely different items and you can order both boxes? We're about to find out. One of the things that Victoria does is in the Elite box, you always get an item that is like a local artisan made item. Um, I don't know if that's the same person who made the art card or not, but that would be here in the Elite box. And I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to remember what Victoria told me, she has all of 2024 curated, like she's got the items. So I believe like, She's already set everything out and everything that she's designing, like she is designing for the entire year for us. And so that is how also she guarantees that you have your boxes promptly by the first of the year. So when she calls this a February bundle, you have it by February 1st. And I mean, I know she often ships early and I don't think Free Spirit Bundle has ever shipped late. So on top here, we just have tissue paper. I'm gonna pull this tissue paper off and a handwritten note. Ooh, I'm not gonna, uh, let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna set this right here. I think that's by the artist because I don't want it to fall. But look, this is the difference in the elite and the petite. See how this is wrapped? This is wrapped and it's got a wax seal. You get a little more wrapping presentation, more of an unboxing, almost like a Christmas gift experience with the Elite Box. Not that the Petite Box is bad, it's just not next level like the Elite Box is. We're gonna loop back. Let me see this handwritten note real quick. Oh, she just wrote Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Free Spirit Team art card. So you do have in here the same thing that I showed you earlier that has all the events on the back and you can frame this guy. But in the larger one, we actually have a professionally printed piece designed by that designer. So now I know that that name, who did I say earlier? What was her name? Monica Foy did this piece and this piece. Anybody else get nervous when you have to pull something out of the sticky like this? We used to run a photography, I ah, see I just did it. We used to run a photography studio and these things drove me crazy because I felt like if I let go, like I just did, it stuck to the print. Um, it didn't mess the print up, but I'm always scared that it would. So she does have it backed with cardboard. This is printed on a thicker piece. So you totally have options. It's kind of got a built in mat around it if you want to frame it just like this or you could have it cut down in any framing place, even Hobby Lobby or Michaels could do it if you wanted to. But let me measure this real quick. This looks like a traditional frame size. 10 and eight, yep. So it is an eight by 10 frame. So if you wanna hop online and order one, um, there are some really cute ones at Target right now. Target's clothing might not be the most exciting, but their home decor seems to be hanging in there okay. Grab a frame if you don't already have one, of course for this guy here, and then this is five by seven. So here are the two sizes on these guys here. I want to grab those flowers, so I'm just gonna do it. I wanna grab the pink box also, but I love dried flowers, so of course I have to go here. I could already tell you these are gonna be mega messy, so I have the vacuum down here by my feet. Let's see what the tag says. Ooh! It might, this tag <laughs> might be spoiling another item in here. So I'm gonna hold off on reading the tag until I get this open to make sure I don't ruin something in advance. Look how cute this is. I mean, literally, if you wanna gift this box, you could. It's wrapped so cute. So this says, place me on your new, oh shoot, Dad gum it, okay. I might have to read the tags at the end because if I read this one, it spoils another item. 
in the box. Okay, we're gonna hold tight. Let me just open it. I'll keep, I, well, I always keep all the tags. I have a, all the tags with all the items in my pink envelope playhouse. And we'll read them at the end. Let's just get it all open. Y'all know what I've started doing? I might've already told y'all this, I can't remember. I save these like silica gel packets that come in here. And at the end of the season, when I'm packing away whatever season, I throw those in the bins with the items just, just to add protection. The same reason they're in the box. I just put them in there and it's been working really, really well. So if you wanna steal that idea, just toss those to the side. Look, here's another one. And then um, you can throw them in your Easter bin, your Valentine's bin, your Christmas bin to keep everything fresh. Oh, hold the phone. Okay. So remember, you're gonna have this by February 1st. So you can use all of this in a manner that is very Valentine's inspired, but the colors are set so that if you are using it after, you're not stuck with only a Valentine's box. Because you can see here, this doesn't scream Valentine's. Although when out at Valentine's, it screams Valentine. So I'm gonna put this here with this card and we're gonna loop back once we have more items out to talk about what Victoria put on the tags as inspiration. Okay. So these are the same that were in the petite box. So the petite box seemingly is a smaller, less item box than the Elite. Here's the real question. I now have two sets of these. Am I gonna share or am I gonna hoard? I like these like 1 million percent, so I'm gonna be really honest, I'm probably gonna hoard. These are so dang cute. Ooh, okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is new subscriber gift. So, hold the phone. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my gosh! Okay, hold on. Look! It's a set of two. So, I guess this is the pink envelope exclusive gift you get when you buy the Elite, and then the heart dish is when you buy the Petite. These are so cute. They do have a lid. The Okay, so immediately I was thinking like all the sweet and low in sugar coffee packets by your coffee bar, your drink station. Um, it does need to be something that's in a bag. I wouldn't put raw food in these. Or decorate, just plain decorate on the shelf. Or bathroom, little cotton balls and stuff. I'm gonna go like more decor on a shelf. I am super hoping in my entryway, uh, uh, like where the long gray pieces, that I can build out that wall, not quite bookshelf, but with more shelves available with an open art center in the middle. I've just gotta convince myself to do it. Basically, that's where we're at. Nothing's stopping me but me, I'm, I just. Okay, so I'm gonna shimmy this guy out because I need him. I love books like this, love, love, love them. Hey, I will read them, read them is probably not the right word. I flip through them and look for design inspiration. This book has a retail value of $35. I love, love, love these, but I also love to decorate with them. If you've been around here any time at all, you know that decorating with pieces like this is my jam. Also love to get the inspo from them as well. So with this book, this says, place me on your new coffee table book to add texture. Hang me on a vase or around a lamp. Add me to a doorknob for a fun twist of everyday decor. So she's saying, if you, that's great. <laughs> Wanna put these on here, you totally can have an entire coffee table design just using the book as a riser, which I am a firm, firm, firm believer in. I think it looks so cute to use 
a non-traditional item as a riser or an element of lifting, dividing, or segmenting your decor. So we have a big box back here. I'm wondering if it's those same vases from our last box. It, it feels like the weight's about the same. Let's see. I love that all the wraps that she did are so Valentine's inspired. I am in the mood, obviously, by my sweater for all things pink and red and hearts and dreamy and romantic and maybe even a little bit sexy. Yes, they are the same. So if you've been trying to decide between the petite and the elite, the only difference is less items, not smaller items, because both boxes came with these big vases, but you get less items. Oh, there's tape right here. See the tape right there? That means my tag fell off in the box. Oh, here it is. Fill me with your dried flowers, which is what the dried flower says. It says, put me in the vase. <laughs> Fill me with your dried flowers and use me as bookends. Oh my gosh, I had not thought about bookends. I love that idea. Fill me with kitchen utensils and display me on the counter. Use me in your bathroom or fill me with everyday hair tools. Use me in the office to hold desk supplies. The possibilities are endless with my unique shape. And so that's what this guy says. This guy says, style me in your bundle vase as a fresh nod to spring. Tie ribbon around me and hang me on a hook or a mirror, separate my stems and spread the love around each room in multiple bases, or simply display me on your shelf with your coffee table book as an added texture. So when she's saying tie it, it's, it's gonna make a mess. Let me do it over this box. You can tie them and hang them like this uh, outside of the plastic wrap. I am gonna be brave and I'm gonna open it but I'm gonna open it over this box in hopes of making a little bit less of a mess. Not bad. Not bad at all. You can open over a box like I did or take it outside. So once you take it out, this is what it looks like here. And they are dried. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop the paper open just so I can show you what they look like. Oh, yay, they're still bundled. So I took the paper off, and when I took the paper off, they are still bundled. So you can cut this little plastic wrap, and it'll come off. But here's what the bundle looks like. It's got some bunny tails, some dried yellow flowers. Um, looks like baby dried roses as well. Very earthy vibe. Once again, not screaming out any particular color, so you can use this year-round. And then... I haven't obviously spruced these or changed these or done anything with these, but putting them here in the vase and then putting other things around them, I love the idea of using these as bookends for books because, I mean, a lot of us have committed to reading in 2024, or should I say, have committed to reading even more in 2024. Let's actually... <laughs> I'd love to run a vote on that. If you are a reader for 2024, did you up the number of books that you're going to read? I didn't. I'm so goal oriented that I will like literally unnecessarily put pressure on myself and I don't want to do that. So I did 24 books last year. I put 24 and I read like 32. I put 24 again, two a month. If there's more, yay me. And if there's less, well, there won't be less. <laughs> Just the way my personality is, there won't be less. But tell me, yeah, if you're a reader, did you up the number of books? If you're not a reader, did you commit to starting reading in 2024? I'm not sure if you guys know, but perhaps you've heard me mention my brand new subscription box directory. It's live and we have a whole like book, like best of book subscription boxes. And you can get on and sort by reviews, like the book boxes that are on there. Go see who's got the most reviews, see what's going on. Um, I'm gonna link it down below. Highly recommend you hop over there. There's no video to watch, it is like quick. You can go to a blog post or you can go to the directory. You can sort by price, sort by reviews, sort by type, it is super, super easy. And of course, if you wanna create an account and start leaving reviews of your own, I would love that. Okay, look. This guy is at the bottom. 
a full size, super squishy, happy pillow. I mean, look, look how it, look how it's holding. It's like the perfect karate chop pillow. I don't know what this material is, but it makes me super happy. It does have a zipper and it says machine wash warm, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. Yay! <laughs> it makes me so happy I have kids and pets. Like you have to be able to wash these things. And then it also already has the pillow insert inside. I'm not gonna lie, I super, super wish I owned like three more of these. I need like a set of four or at least a set of two. Hmm. Victoria, if we want to add on more of these pillows, can we in the Free Spirit Marketplace? We're gonna find out on Messenger for sure. So, how do I wanna do this? Oh, I know what I'll do. We have the two art cards, the two vases. This is a free gift only for new subscribers. I'm gonna shimmy all of this forward so that the pillow can go back here. Let's see, maybe my Stanley can help it stand up a little bit. Nope, 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 the pillow's too hardy. <laughs> here, the vacuum, we'll use the vacuum. There we go, so we have the pillow and the book and this guy here. Okay, now I feel like we can see everything better. What are we thinking? I love this curation. Very neutral pieces with the exception of the art card, which is very spring inspired here. And one of the things Victoria has always done since she started Free Spirit Bundle is her goal is not to say, I'm talking and I'm blowing this over with my breath. There we go. Her goal is not to give you a bunch of items that go in one space. The idea is to give you items that can go in multiple spaces. So like literally, this could go on the bench in your dining room. It can go on a chair. It can go on a patio. It can go on your couch. It can go on your bed. Her concept is not everybody's houses look the same. And the items that she gives you need to be able to move. Now this is a little more specific, and but like pretty much everybody has a kitchen, right? So that makes sense there. But the rest of these items could quite literally go in any space. She also knows everything that's curated for 2024 because it's already all built out. So these items go with the past bundles of 23 and build with the future bundles of 2024. She is definitely curating where each season builds on the past. And not all boxes do that. A lot of them like standalone design, like this is a kitchen design, then this is a bathroom design, this is a bedroom design, and by the end of the year, you've decorated each space because everything they sent was for a certain space. Uh, that is not how they do it here. Everything can be spread everywhere, and in those design videos that she does on YouTube, and in the design on the community Facebook group, she's showing you over and over and over ways to design. I've already done my Valentine's Decorate With Me. I released that exactly, I try to do it one month before the holiday. But you're gonna see these items in my next Decorate With Me integrated all through spring. Well, you'll probably see them year round, but you're really gonna see these pop up in spring. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you'd like to watch decorating how to's. And so that you can see both bundles side by side, this is the Elite, which is the traditional bundle that they've had for years, which is $269.99. And this is the Petite, which is the new bundle at $139.99. Um, the quality on everything is outstanding. Truly every single item is very high quality, which is true of Free Spirit bundles on the regular. I don't know that I've ever encountered a poor quality item. And I think only one time in almost two years did I have something arrive cracked and they fixed it that fast and got my replacement out to me. It was a wonderful experience. So from the customer service side, huge check mark. From the curation side and quality side, huge check mark. Um, design, not all of the boxes on the home decor side offer you design. Actually, I would say less than half of them truly guide you through design. Um, so huge check mark there and sparking joy, huge check mark there. I have chickened out. It is too wet. 
and cold out there. I tried going out. I, everything would just come in wet. I would look like a wet dog. The items would be all wet. It won't work. But we have received past items that are in these tones, uh, similar to these tones. We have received past acacia wood items that coordinate with these items. Um, and we actually have a pillow. It's on my bed uh, that we got in maybe 2022 um, that's like this. It has just withstood the test of time. Um, so yeah, I can promise you, even though I can't quite show you right now, that these items coordinate beautifully with the boxes from 2023. Um, if you want to learn more about how they're giving back, I highly encourage you to go over to their uh, website. They have the Bundle Blessing Project which every time we buy a bundle, a portion of the money gets set aside. And at the end of the year, Victoria finds a family going through a divorce or just out of a divorce and comes in and helps make their home fresh, new, and ready for this new stage of life they're walking into. And it is the Bundle Blessing Project. She is blessing people through the bundles we purchase and her personal talent. It's really, really cool. You can see the families, you can meet them, you can see the design, everything on her website and even on her Facebook or uh, Instagram. That's where I see it the most. You can get on her Instagram, it's on there as well. All right, you guys, what a perfect way to kick off spring home decor in 2024. Victoria and Free Spirit team, excellent job as always. And if you have not subscribed, you're going to want to now because we're about to unleash all of our home decor boxes. We are gonna be decorating for holidays like crazy. The fun has only begun and we have new stuff for 2024. The tea times and chat sessions, more decorating, uh, just fun, fun is on deck y'all. I hope that you are having an absolutely amazing day. And if you did subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all. Does this go on? Oh my gosh. I am busting open the box for the petite, I was cleaning up after the unboxing and found the lid at the bottom. So there's styrofoam, candle, styrofoam, lid, styrofoam. So make sure you go all the way down. This little cutie has a fabulous lid that goes on top.